But now, this is a mineral from the earth. It's called, what is this called? I'm going to go to the map now. It's what? This is copper. I'm going to show you on this map. This is a geologic map of the United States. We are presenting to your school. Okay, a geologic map. Anybody hands up if you've ever heard of a geologic map? You all have heard of it? Okay. <clears throat> Usually, on a map, you're, you're maybe typically used to seeing each state is a different color, right? Hmm? But here, instead of each state being a different color, each age of, of, of rocks you find on the earth is a different color. Okay? So this copper that I have in my hand right now was found up here in northern Minnesota. So what color is that right there? The kind of reddish color. So then you go over this chart over here, and you try to find that color over here on the chart. It's down here at the bottom. Okay? So you read over here. This tells you how this old, this, this rock right here, this piece of copper, is 560 million years old. You are holding a rock. Hold it. It's 500 million years old. And how do I know that? Because of this geologic map. So the Geological Society, what we're doing is we're presenting maps to schools. This is, for right now, when you see this map, it just looks like it's a pretty piece of art, doesn't it? Swirling colors. But this map can talk. Okay, I'm going to tell you some facts. So on your notes, write down geologic map and underline geologic map. Write that down. And you're fifth graders. You're the seniors of this school. The other kids, lower grades, look up to you. So I'm going to tell you some facts about this map. And the other kids don't know these facts. And some of the other teachers, if they necessarily had geology, they won't know it either. So I'm going to challenge you in a minute to write these down. Okay. So, this map, geologists have walked over the entire United States and picked up the rocks and looked at them and studied them and looked at the fossils in them and figured out which ones were old and which ones were young and they made this geologic map. So the colors on here show age. Like here's a piece of, of, of lava I got from when I lived in Hawaii. This is lava I got from Hawaii. Okay. Now I think there's a cool book right over here. Lava. What color did this lava used to be? Red. It used to be red. So sometimes. Okay. So see, here's a cross section of volcano. See that? Right there, up here in the middle is the lava. It's liquid, right? It's a liquid. It's very hot. It comes shooting over here, and it comes out and it lays back down on the side of the volcano, and then it, it turns what color? Black. This would be a new rock. This is young rock. You see that? So this rock that laid down on the outside of the volcano is old. What about the inside over here? That would be a little bit old right here. This is the newest rock here on the top. So as you go inside, it gets older. Do you agree? Because the next eruption will come up. A rock will lay on top of this. So the layers inside of a volcano, it's youngest on the top and oldest in the middle. Do you see that? So if you see lava, you know in your brain that it's young. Okay, that's one way that the geologists know. They see lava, they know it's young. So here's fact number one. I'm going to tell you, write this down. Fact number one. Fact number one. Okay. Fact number one is light colors are young. Fact number one. I'm going to abbreviate fact like this. Fact number one. Light colors are young. Okay? Fact number, what's fact number one? Light colors are young. Excellent. Okay, so you look and see these light colors right here. These are light colors, these are dark colors. So these are young rocks right here. So here's the quiz. Ready? See if you're all paying attention. When I was in fourth and fifth grade, I lived in Battle Creek, Michigan. Okay, are the rocks in Michigan older or younger than the rocks in Florida? How do y'all know? Fact number one is light colors are young. Is Michigan light color? No. no. no therefore, oh, this is other, another trick on learning things. You know, you, you could, we could teach them two facts here, right? Mm -hmm. I teach one. Teach one fact and figure out the other. See what I'm saying? What's fact number one? Light well, here's another quiz to see if you're paying attention. Is Maine older or younger than South Texas? 
is Maine. See these colors are right here, like these blue colors right here? And here's South Texas, this color right up here. So which one's older, Maine or South Texas? Maine. Yes. Okay. Okay, I've got another. You ready for another one? These are the Appalachian Mountains. Are they older or younger than the mountains in the West Coast? Older. You see these colors? Exactly right. These colors over here. Now, you can read that in a book. The Appalachian Mountains are very old. Okay. Or you can look at the map. This map can talk. Is it talking to you right now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. What about this? This is the Gulf Coast. Isn't this the Gulf Coast right here? The Gulf Coast, is it younger or older than the, than the Midwest right here? Yes, the entire Gulf Coast is young. How do you know? Because light colors. light colors are young. Excellent. You get that? Okay. You write that down. Fact number one is what? Light colors. Those are young. Okay. Fact number two. Write that down. Fact number two. And you can abbreviate that with fact number two. Fact number two. Can you be my geology assistant, please? My geology assistant. What's your name? Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. I'm Mr. Hopkins, a geologist. Come on over here, Caitlin. You're my geology assistant today. Okay, what I want you to do, Caitlin, is I want you to read that word right there. It's on the map. It starts with a J. Read that word, Caitlin. Jurassic. What? Jurassic. What'd she say? Jurassic. Yeah, what is that? It's where the dinosaur tower What? When he, she said the word, when Caitlin said Jurassic, what pops in your mind? Dinosaurs. Why did why does dinosaurs pop in your mind? Because of what? Why? Why? What? 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 Where? Where have you heard Jurassic before? What? Who's seen the movie Jurassic Park? Who's seen it? As a scientist, I'm so glad that movie came out. That took a technical word into the common vernacular, I call it. Jurassic is not a name they made up for a movie. Jurassic is the age, an age of dinosaurs. Look right here, Caitlin. What's colors right next to the word Jurassic? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go over here. Caitlin, you stay there. You are going to now show your classmates, your principal, and your teachers where in America you can find dinosaur footprints, dinosaur bones, Dinosaur age rocks, Caitlin. Show us. Where in America? You can do it. Come on, Caitlin. Get your hands out of your pockets. Show me a place. Where did she do it? Did she do it? Show yeah. us another place, Caitlin. Show us another place. Walk around the map. It's okay. Show us some more places where you can find dinosaur footprints. You see what she's doing? I'm going to come over here. Show us some more places, Caitlin. Yes, show us some more places. Yes, right there, a little edge of that one. Yes, show us some more. Yes. How, what is Kate, how does Caitlin know this? Because the map is talking to her. Hold, hear what he just said? The map is talking to her. Yeah. Do you hear that? Maps talk. Caitlin, I'm so proud of you. Yes. How did she know the color? That's what's so cool about a geologic map. I'm not through with you yet, Caitlin. <laughs> you ready? I want, pretend like you went to Florida on vacation, okay? And you were looking around and on, you saw these rocks over here and you saw something in the rock and you got your, and you chipped it out, you chipped this cool fossil out of the rocks down in Florida and you cleaned it off. Wow, this is a cool fossil. And you brought it back to your school. Caitlin, do you think that would be a dinosaur fossil? Caitlin, don't look at me, look at the map. The map's talking. I'm stopping for a minute. This fossil, this cool looking fossil I just dug out of Florida, would it be a dinosaur fossil? No. Why do y'all say no? no? Yeah, go show us where Florida is, Caitlin. Should you ever, ever, ever expect to find a dinosaur fossil in Florida? No. Exactly right, I'm proud of you. Excellent, Caitlin. Good job, geology assistant. You see that? Okay. So this is the geologic map. 